<laughs> All right, people, Catfish Dave here. I'm trying to figure out which way this uh, tide is going. It looks like it stops about noon. It's about 10.30 now. The only reason I can even stand to be out here is because it's going to be high winds, because it's 95 degrees today. It's already about 90. But yeah, mid-90s for a high. In a river like this with the strong tide, if that wind grabs against that tide, you can have a really bad day in a small boat. So I gotta decide if I wanna venture across that big river or if I wanna stay in here or what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna look for fish in here, but pretty soon we're gonna have to drop some bait somewhere because I got a YouTube channel and I'm here to make a catfish video. All right, y'all, it's 11 a.m. Uh, the main river was so rough, I'm working my way uh, down this flat. The problem is I'm getting as shallow as two feet and the tide's going out. That's making me a little nervous. But the wind was going against the tide uh, coming out that main channel, so I'm riding this flat. And it's gonna take me a while to get to my destination. All right, y'all, sun's in the camera. It was a good ride. I'm gonna have to change gas tanks before I head back. Piece of eel. It's supposed to hit 95 degrees today. I don't know if this will help me or not. We'll see. I don't need no heat stroke. It's easy to get a heat stroke in 95 degrees. Some old small fish on the eel. All right, y'all, I'm not dealing with a bunch of small fish, so uh, I'm gonna change spots. All right, y'all, we gonna try this spot. 
got a barge coming through here and I'm most likely in his path. We'll see here. I should have about five minutes to fish before he comes through here. I hope that wind keeps up or my camera ain't going to stay running. It acts like it wants to shut down. If the wind stops, I'll stop. It's 95 degrees. I don't know, y'all. I believe I'd be better off in a Boston whaler out here. I'm gonna drink some more water before I die. Here comes a Boston whaler. We're not catching jack squat. I'm gonna try eating a piece of cheese. All right, y'all, we wasn't catching squat out there. Uh, now when I rode out this way, initially I marked this area and I never, never seen a fish. So I say, you know what, it's too hot for this no biting stuff. So I'm on the way back to the ramp. And I start looking as I go under this bridge again. Now there's fish under it. So I'm gonna make another attempt right here. Uh, we don't been 10 miles. And here the fish is done showed up right here, according to that fish finder. Is it legit? I don't know. We're going to put a couple pieces of eel on and give it a go. It might be hang up city. I don't know. You got to watch around these bridges. The tide is just now reversing directions. We were fishing an outgoing tide. Now we're getting an incoming tide.
That male is fresh off the nest, all marked up and beat up. See how marked up that is? That's an ugly old skinny fish. There goes a dead one right past the boat. These waves are bouncing my trolling motor out of the water. I think I need a Boston whaler around here. like the bite's getting a little more active now that that incoming tide is increasing. I'm pretty sure my bait's still on that one because that's eel. It don't come off the hook. I done run out of fuel. Going so far out there, I had to switch tanks coming back. This is a big river. You need a Boston whaler out here. That fish ain't much, but he fought his guts out. You can see him hanging there. I really do need a Boston whaler. I believe we got a good fish.
Well, he's bigger than anything we've got so far. On a piece of eel, Yeah. Oh, long, thin male. Compared to what we've caught today, that is a big fish. See the old scar peeling up from the spawn? Yeah, straighten out where they can see you, man. All right, y'all. My trolling motor batteries are down to 30%. I've got a headache from this heat, 95 degrees. Water temps on the low rants are now reading 90.2. This is my third trip to the James, and it has been the toughest. Uh, come in February, fish were pretty easy. Uh, come again, right after post spawn, water temps still in the 80s, had some really good trips. Now we're getting farther into the summer, the really hot water, and uh, these fish are getting tougher. I ended up finding some by the bridge that would eat. I've run out of tank of gas looking around. And one thing I've noticed when I'm on these really big bodies of water is I never see another boat like mine. It's always these great big boats. It kind of makes me think, if you're gonna be out here, you need a Boston Whaler. I'm gonna call it a day before I pass out. This is a video, there was fish in the video, that makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Day with another one, signing out.